All right, so listen, hello. Okay, we got the introductions out of the way. Got a bag here, Ford's Garage. I think they're located in uh, Florida, Texas, Indiana, Kentucky, I don't know, Ohio, Detroit, Michigan. There's a bunch of uh, states that Ford's Garage, they are um, synonymous with uh, some prime, prime uh, burgers as well as craft beers. We got the brunch burger and a side of seasoned potatoes because it's the brunch burger. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I could be very persuasive. We have a possible coffin of goodness right here from the folks over at uh, Ford's Garage. Oh my goodness. The egg has exploded. The egg has exploded. Check it out. It is not the best time of day for filming. They have a nice, um, look at this. Like they just landed on this burger because it was in there. Look at that custom built but that's what we got going on fifteen dollars and ninety nine cents uh this is going to be sloppy we're gonna check it out here we go all right so i just shot the thumbnail i didn't even try to take this burger out of this uh capsule right here let's go in uh, for a couple of these um potatoes dip it right into that uh runny yolk right there breakfast personified check it out right there the sun just beaming beaming 11 o'clock in the morning Ooh, seasoning on that is um pretty darn good do you call these seasoned potatoes or do you call them like me and hopefully everyone else home fries Got some home fries and there's a ton of them this thing weighs a ton it better for 16 dollars those are really good but am i going to be able to pick this up here we go All right, hold on before i uh try to pick it up let me explain to you what's going to be on this burger half pound grilled black angus burger with the tillamook cheddar cheese bacon jam a sunny side up egg arugula garlic aioli on a brioche bun <laughs> and i think i heard rumors it has the kitchen sink see what i did there all right now i'm going to try to pick it up all right before it drips all over the place i want to get you a quick look at this bad boy oh my goodness all right i'm going to take a bite but it's dripping out the back end yeah <laughs> you know how that goes dripping out it smells good. It looks good. Let's go. All right, I'm going to try my best to kind of push it from behind. All right. All right, it's dripping. A lot of, oh, the bacon jam is coming off. Let me get some of that bacon jam on here. Hold on. Bacon jam coming out the back end. All right, so let's get oh, some of this bacon jam right here. All right, so I got some bacon jam on there. Let me clean off my fingers, or should I just... Let me just go into it. All right, wish me luck. I There should have been something on the menu saying, <laughs> a little asterisk, the sloppiest burger on the menu, kind of hold underneath. I wish it had like a, a burger diaper. Wish me luck. Mm. That's something. Look at this. Got a medium rare. That bacon jam is fire. Mmm. Juicy. Messy. Great flavor on the meat. Mm. Of course, the sun is coming out and toasting me up. But this thing... You can see they actually brand their bun as well. 
with the uh, Ford's Garage logo. Let's get some of these uh, potatoes. Potatoes with this bacon jam. This bacon jam right here. You see it? You see it? So good. Mmm. All right, so this thing is very messy. I think for the amount you get and also the amount of the home fries, got the uh, egg on there. Um, I don't know, 16 bucks, still a little bit pricey, but that is quality uh, beef. Little Black Angus has a great flavor and everything else mixing in. Let me see if I can just show you this. Look at this. That's a well-made burger. Oh, this a little custom built sign doesn't want you to see look at that oh yeah I'm gonna take one more bite if I had to give it a rating and I do 1 to 100 that everything going on in this brunch burger works perfectly together I just wish it wasn't so messy I think they went heavy on the aioli and I'm, I'm not hating them for that, but in the car, I mean, anywhere, this is going to be hard to eat. Let me try to take a bite upside down. Hmm. Probably the wrong way to go, but. Mm. All right. Did I try to give it a rating and then stop from giving it a rating? One to 100. Solid. Um. I'm giving this one, I'm going to give it an 89 just because it's a little pricey and it's very sloppy. Maybe just too many condiments on that burger, but the flavors all come together. I really do like that. I've been to uh, Ford's Garage a couple other times and wasn't overly impressed, um, but I liked it. I liked it. Wanted to try something a little different today, uh, something that wasn't fast food. So um, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, that's it. I need to finish this and then just take a little nap. Thank you so much for joining me. Light up the comments if you've ever been to a Ford's garage. And uh, that's it. We'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.